to this point, we've taken a tour of the solar system to give brief descriptions of each of the planets so that we could make comparisons between what similarities the terrestrial planets have and what similarities the Jovian planets have and how the things that we repeated for terrestrial planets are not the same necessarily for what we repeated about the gas giants. So let's go through this list and talk about some of those things. For one thing, size. The gas giants are the giant planets. Yes, they're the largest ones in the solar system. So our home, like Earth and the other terrestrial planets, are the smaller planets in the solar system. Then when it comes to mass, those gas giants might be made of gas, but they still have so much gas in their volumes that they have more mass than the terrestrial planets, even though the terrestrial planets are made of rock. So the larger amounts of, amounts of mass also go to the gas giants. But when you take those rocky planets and stuff all of that rock into a smaller volume, you get a higher density. So the terrestrial planets have the higher densities of the planets in our solar system, and the gas giants have the lowest densities. When we talked about atmospheres of planets, I said that both Venus and Mars had carbon dioxide atmospheres. Once upon a time, Earth had a carbon dioxide atmosphere, but that was changed into an oxygen and nitrogen atmosphere. But when we move out to the gas giants, that's where I kept saying the atmospheres were hydrogen and helium, the lighter elements on the periodic table. When we talk about the main bodies of the planets, the main bodies of the gas giants are mainly atmosphere, mainly the gas, and the main body of the terrestrial planets are mainly the rocky parts. Cores, the terrestrial planets have molten cores, whereas the giant planets made of mostly gas probably have some cores that are either like compressed liquids or maybe compressed down to solid form. When it comes to moons, the inner planets didn't have that many moons compared to the outer planets. Of the four inner planets, Earth had one and Mars had two. But when you get to the outer planets, every moon has more than a dozen, I mean every planet has more than a dozen moons going around it. And also for the outer planets, all four of them had rings. Not just Saturn, but all four outer planets had rings. Inner planets do not have that. Some people, when I ask them, which planets do you think have magnetic fields and which ones have the stronger ones, they'll speak right up and they'll talk about Earth and its magnetic field. Well, we're very happy to have one to protect us from the solar radiation that comes to us from the sun, which could damage us if we didn't have our magnetic field protecting us. But that doesn't mean we have the strongest magnetic field in the solar system. The giant gas planets actually have stronger magnetic fields than the inner planets. Now when you want to talk about storms, you're going to have to have an atmosphere. So Mercury is going to be left out of this discussion. But we do see storms on our inner planets like Venus, of course Earth, and Mars can kick up some really big dust storms in its atmosphere. And the outer planets, we have also been discovering storms that show lightning and show constant circulation like giant hurricanes like the big red spot on Jupiter. For volcanoes, you're going to have to have a solid surface. Here's where we're not going to be seeing any volcanoes on the surface of the gas giant planets. However, we have discovered volcanoes and geysers on moons around the giant planets. And, of course, you know Earth has volcanoes, but Venus has volcanoes as well, and Mars has the biggest volcano in the solar system. Craters are also going to need to have a solid surface, and of course you've seen craters on the moon. When you look at Mercury, you see craters. When we look at Mars, we see craters. When we look under the clouds of Venus, we don't see as many craters as we expect, and there needs to be an explanation for that. When we look at the gas giants, we don't expect to see craters on the gas giants because their outer surfaces that we see are gas, but we do see plenty of craters on their moons. Now, where is there life in our solar system? Of all of the places that we suspect and all of the places that we've looked, 
we have not found conclusive evidence for life anywhere else except on good old Earth. So right now, this is where we have life. We have reasons to look at other places in the solar system for life, but this is the only planet where we know conclusively that life exists on Earth.